is coming. Good morning. <laughs> it is December 16th. I'm very tired, but still very, very in good mood, in a good mood this morning. <laughs> Cause I'm looking at my tree. So the plan for today, I decided what I'm gonna do. I have, so when I was with my ex, we bought a bunch of Christmas stuff, but he wanted a colorful and like, not that there's anything wrong with color. But I'm a classy girl. Like, I want it to be, I don't want it to be like, like, I want it to be, I don't know, just more sophisticated versus like the, the very playful, like I love the reds and the greens, but there's also blues and purples and like it was too colorful. I, I do love color, I do. I know this is all gray, okay? I know that, I understand that. But that was because of the, um, gosh, what's his name? The person that, the stager, he put everything gray. But I love like color, I do. I just finished my job. So I like to shower. And then, I don't know if I should, let me do this, I don't know if I should clean the house or do the ornaments and stuff because literally, my house is a mess right now. Like, I have rules for myself because of the ADHD. I'm like, okay, if I get a dish dirty, I need to wash it right away. If I do this, like I need to put it away right away, otherwise I won't. And that's what has happened. Some of my dishes have piled up. I'm embarrassed, but I'm gonna show you guys because this is a real life. Exhibit A. I think this is from like I don't know Tuesday. I guess I use that. But yeah, I mean at least at least they're like stacked, you know? Like it's not super messy. But my room. It's not too bad. Like it's just clothes. And I just haven't done my bed. Clothes? Bed undone. I don't know where there's a pillow there. Chunkless. Socks. So I think it'll take me like 10 minutes to clean my room. Then I can shower. <gasps> I should wash my sheets. It's Friday. I typically wash them on Fridays. Okay, so I'm gonna... I'm gonna put them in the wash before I take a shower. Is that a bad idea? Because it's gonna take water away from me? Probably. But I will do the cold wash. I don't do like the hot wash. <laughs> so I'm gonna do that. Um... To start laundry um go from there like oh my god guys look at this mess <sighs> there's a cup over there there's two cups <sighs> i need a caretaker <laughs> just kidding okay i'm gonna clean real quick um i'll just do the time lapse <laughs> Sometimes, if you give yourself 10 minutes to do something, it takes you five. I literally did everything right away. So I'm going to put my clothes in the washer right now, and then I'm going to show you guys. Um, I already feel much better. <laughs>
in here yeah. um, and got like one of these empty boxes kitchen stuff um just like storage oh <gasps> that's what I'm looking for yes I need that mm -hmm. um just, like, tools and things like that stains um those are the that's the box where the plates are that I need and here we got an array of like just spray paints. We got a step stool. Some sort. You guys take a guess as to where the Christmas things are. Oh, it's gonna be that. Totally gonna be that. This is actually empty. This is empty. Everything is pretty much empty. Um, So there's a bunch of stuff in here, right? Um, there's lights, there's, this is called a garland. This is for that star that I used to have up. Um, I still have it, I still have it somewhere in here. There it is. Star. But yeah, there's just a bunch of, um, I don't know what this one is, like ornaments and just Christmas decorations. We got all these are from Ikea. But this, oh, <laughs> also I have outdoor lights that I don't know that I'm gonna be using. <gasps> That's for me. This is what we want right now. Oh my gosh, can I grab it without taking it apart? <laughs> Let's see. Um. You guys, I had a crazy idea. No, no, we're gonna, we're gonna paint this first. Got, see how colorful that is? Which is fun. People that like all this color. But, um, okay, so paint. While these dry, like in between layers, I think it'd be fun to like decorate. Not the, uh, not the tree, but like the TV console area, and then there's like a little table, just a lot of things. Um, let's get to it. Round one of laundry is done. Um, I actually just finished setting up outside to record, but the idea is really great.
do it. So this is the current setup. I have these baskets that have a bunch of holes in them. And I can probably use them for like, to hold the things, you know? Yeah. So, but I don't want to paint them. So I have this paper here. I'm just going to cover it. Hopefully I can fit all of them on here. If not, I guess honestly not the end of the world because they're just, they can be painted over. Um, the package of ornaments. And I have all of these paints. These are actually really pretty. All three of these. Um, I really like them. And then I have these. Lunar surface white gloss. I might just put my whites together. Um, gray, blue, green. Like a heirloom white white this is satin and this is semi gloss what's this one gloss and actually i found this that i have it's to protect artwork so what i'm going for is like a velvety look um which i've seen people do with like paint and they mix in baking soda so i think i'll do that but they leave the baking soda on the outside so i can probably put this on top to protect it so it doesn't fall out. So we'll see how that works. But yeah, that's what I've got. And the things. Let's get to work. that this pole covers my license plates perfectly <laughs> so that's great um so i actually split up the ornaments into like the shiny ones the matte ones and the glittery ones and i'm sort of wondering if for the glittery ones i can just like do a top coat of these because these are very sheen so i think it, like if it tones down the glitter it might be okay or like since they already have that texture like if we just put a color over it they might be good i don't know we'll see um but the next step is to do this to all of them so that they're just ready to be painted or primed let's do it <laughs> here and set you guys down real quick I hope I show up so I don't know how I'm gonna paint them if I'm gonna do one by one or if I should just I think I should just try and like do batches of them together um, This is new, it feels pretty new. Um, white, blossom white, satin. Let's see how it goes. Let's go back. Um, I'm trying to find words. <laughs> I know. 
I'm gonna clean this up and then just do a time lapse. So the first set came out really interesting. Um, the first ones that I did, they have a lot of texture. And I think it's because it was gonna be shaken up all the way. And as I got more and more into them, they came out like smoother and smoother. I think that was the last one I did. But the paint's also mixing, so it's fine. Um, so I'm gonna have to do a couple of layers maybe. Actually, no, this is just primer, so it should be fine. <laughs> um, but yeah, I think I'm gonna try the black probably these um oh my gosh there you go or the blue and for these i'm gonna try metallic maybe i'll do those next
it's pretty cool. These are the matte ones. You can see some of the paint mixed up. These are the last ones I did. These are glitter ones. These were, I think, shiny ones with just um, paint on them. These also were shiny ones. Look how cool they look. I think, yeah, I actually really like this. I don't know. Will I keep it? Probably not. And these were also glitter ones. So for, for these, I actually used like a gray. For these, I went back to the white, and the white covered up better than the gray did. Um, but yeah, I think I'm just gonna paint over it. We'll see. Alright, so I just finished, um, finished, like, the second, first round of primer. So, I realized it's just primer, so I don't need to try and, like, cover them all the way. <laughs> I did try to cover most of the glitter ones because honestly, I can leave them like that. But the white is very stark, so I don't think it's gonna work. So um, I'm gonna go outside, pan around so you guys can see them. Because my neighbors are still with their little saw. Yeah. So I didn't realize that the smell of the spray paint came into the house a lot. So I opened up all my windows, um, but it still smells. So I'm only gonna bring in one batch at a time. I got some, I got a, another a little, not tray, but basket. I got a couple of disposable soil cups, some water, paint brushes, um, the paints, and baking soda over here. And yeah, I got a couple of these. So the colors that I wanna go with are like a blue, blue, pink, and probably like, beige oh, no. um i did have like that metallic copper which i think i will use and i will spray paint some of the the glittery ones but yeah and something really cool about these paints actually is um that you can add water to them and they won't get messed up because they're water-based um and that's what they're for so these paints you can use them like as acrylics or you can use them as watercolors um, so yeah, I brought water and a little thing to pour because we can always use the baking soda to make it thicker um, But we can just dilute the paint like if I want to make it like a um, pastel, you know, or if I want to make it just last more We could just do like tests and stuff um, So I'm gonna do that um, So yeah, I think the first thing I'm gonna do I'm gonna take this back outside just because of the smell <laughs> And then I'm gonna mix my paints and then we're gonna go from there
It is a process. Layers and layers. But it's beautiful. Um, you know, that's I, I am a crafter. I, I love making things. And it's always a process. It's never like the first time you're gonna get it right. I'm gonna stop touching this and put it. So this one was just like the paint with the um like the baking soda one layer and then I added in second layer mixing in the white and then I put baking soda on top of that and then on top of that baking soda powder that I added I still added another layer of the mushy I just call it the mushy because it's a little mushy um I think I'm only gonna do the pink tonight because I do have plans and I just realized that it's in about an hour and I have to be there have to be there at, I don't even remember what time. Oh my god. Oh my gosh. Sorry, oh my gosh. Here it is. Oh, it's at 6.30. Okay, the showcase is at 7. Okay. Got it. Okay, yeah. Um, so I'm going to try this one. So this one was just like the mushy paint going back and forth. What is the camera right there? Um, so I'm going to try the same technique. I'm pretty sure it's just about layering. I don't think it matters what order you do it in. But I did find that adding the baking soda and then just dabbing the paint on it was really nice. So I'm going to keep doing that. So this one has a lot of texture. Really pretty. Um, I think I'm going to do the same thing with this one. Just add another layer of paint and then um, bake, add a layer of baking soda and then like just dabbing on paint so that you have like that velvety thing oh my god it's so pretty i love it oh so good thing about gauche gauche is that i mean i mix these colors but i'm not gonna do i think i'm only gonna do the pink today so i can actually leave this um like this and tomorrow just activate it with water um, so they're great and then I mean you can mix in the acrylic I do remember you can mix the acrylic um, into the gauche but I think you can add water once you do um, so yeah I have to do the pink and then tomorrow we'll do this and it'll definitely be exciting oh my god I'm so happy I really love how the pink looks it looks really pretty I'm gonna try and get a different like different shades of pink to make it look good um, I hope my cat doesn't Don't know what I didn't know what I was doing. Just I got lucky the first time. But it's 6 30. Okay. Um I'm not gonna decorate my Christmas tree because I have an engagement. Um I in the past I talked about what I was doing for um for working out for working out what i had to stop to do but i teared up a little bit and i cried and tonight is the um they're doing a showcase so i'm gonna take you guys and i'm not gonna say what it is that i did um <laughs> but i'm just gonna put like little snippets of it so before i take you guys whoever's watching i want you to take you guys as to what it was that i was doing for working out it was very challenging. You don't need a partner. And you get into flow state. And there's, you might not know this, but there's a lot of different ways that one can do this sport. And um, it's really, it's really beautiful. It's um, like physically like when you see yourself like doing it, you're like, wow, like that looks really pretty. Um, 
but it's also kind of like a reflection of life because it's not easy and you're gonna get beat up but you get back up and you do it again because at the end it's worth it you know okay do it again okay it's gonna be fine um okay back to the ornaments i think i figured it out i forgot what it's doing when i grabbed my phone um but <sighs> okay i don't think that the baking soda and the paint matters because i think that the texture is really coming from this um like i've noticed that yes if there's texture it's like easier for like the thing the baking soda to adhere to but i think what you want really is i'm just gonna go around one like this was almost all paint and you see how it's all like white is it no wait oh oh no focus on that don't look at my face stop <laughs> so you see how it's like snowy so i think you're gonna want this um because it looks flocked and you kind of let it dry a little bit and then i realized this because i grabbed one that was like this and i let it dry and then once i did Oh, I accidentally smudged one with my nail. I like came in and smoothed it out. Let's see. There you go. I smoothed it out like with my hand. So I just literally came in and smoothed it out. I don't think this looks really nice. Um, still a lot of excess, which is fine. But yeah um yeah this is what it is so i'm actually i don't know if i should leave them out overnight or if i should leave them in here um because i know sometimes with the cold like the paint won't dry or something but i want it to dry fully before i seal it with that sealing spray that i have yeah like this looks like that but I think I could just click on it. And there you go. See? It looks like velvet. It looks like cotton candy. It looks really pretty. Yeah, I think that's what that's how it is. We'll find we'll figure it out tomorrow. Um so I did 10 pink ones. I had 50 total. Let's see this one was like very chunky mix with the paint. And then I added like a layer of the baking soda but it looks really lumpy so i'm gonna try and even it out like let me show you guys you see okay you can see the texture it's too textured it's too lumpy i want it to be smooth like a baby boy <laughs> They're like super light because um if you think about it baking soda it's like um it's sanding it down it's a powder if you craft you know what sanding it down does right so yeah so you're basically kind of sanding it down a little bit because you have baking soda on your fingers so you just smooth it out another technique i tried was like Tapping it down. That also works sometimes too. Um, once it's kind of more dry, it's e I think it's easier to go with your fingers and smooth it out. This layers for me. I don't know. Not this one. Yeah, this was the one where I was like, I don't know what I'm doing. And then when I added another layer and I messed it up. That happens. 
so you gotta mess up to learn honestly you never get things right the first time around so when you're stressed and supports to almost anything in life what would you think you know like no one's born knowing absolutely everything um how come every time i start talking i just start giving like advice yeah. Um, yeah, so no one's going like knowing everything, like, I don't know, I love crafting, um, because I'm very meticulous about it, you definitely need patience, like if you're someone that has patience, oh gosh, crafting is for you, if you don't have patience, ow, just buy it, just buy it right because it's going to save you the headache of trying to do this yourself. This one's a little, it's a little roughness. It's a little crunchy part. I was also thinking that maybe an easy way to do this would be like, if you get really fine powder, I know there's blocking powder, basically, like, if you, if you grab baking soda and you like um you did it really finely and you added food coloring to it and you added like glue or like a layer of um there's like spray adhesives or even just paint because paint is like a sticky thing and you would just like do it on top like even that would work honestly um it's my theory because it's not what flocking powder is right but yeah let's see I mean, from far away, it looks nice. But I'm looking at it. It's not. I'm considering just like wetting the whole thing. very lightly going over it with water because it's it's um it's fine to like try and even out some of these little textures you gotta be careful though that you don't do too much water so i've done like water coloring in the past i can do acrylic but never really got the techniques down like i don't know like there's a lot of techniques that i don't know I've never been formally trained, it's just like, I just do it, so, yeah, oh, is that too much, too much water, oh, I just need to be careful, because like as soon as you pick up, um, like loose, um, baking soda, like you'll start dragging it and um, creating more texture. Which I realize like it's not I'm not after texture, I'm after velvet. Velvet isn't textured. If I can't get it right. when you watch this is it's kind of like I don't know if you've ever done your own acrylic nails it's kind of like the same like I like seeing how I've always liked seeing how they do it like how they they would wet their brush with whatever and then they would get the acrylic and they would like put it on your nail I haven't done acrylic in a while no like watercoloring basically smoothing it out 
some lot of texture on this one. Let's clean the brush. Try. I think my anxiety is getting the best of me right now. For some reason, like I'm like having scenarios in my head that haven't even happened. They're not even real. They're stressing me out. Oh, it's way too long. P. It's like LSP. <laughs> need to stop because yeah so um i'm not gonna yeah i'm not gonna decorate the tree today i'll decorate it tomorrow and and my sister's gonna come so i need to finish these oh no not tomorrow actually sunday which is good because i need to finish these before i finish them tomorrow I'm going for like an orange peel texture right now. That's literally better than what it was before. It's a more consistent texture at least. But my bed needs to be made. <laughs> so I'm just gonna, oh, it looks cool. Purple, blue. So yeah, I'm gonna make my bed and then get ready for bed and then just go to sleep. I am not gonna record it. Um, but yeah, I might have put some videos from tonight. I don't know. But I did get a little sad when I was uh, driving home. Maybe I'll talk about it another time because I'm pretty sure this vlog is going to be over. Really <laughs>